When I saw His Highness the Aga Khan walking down the steps, I couldn't help but remember the coronation 60 years in Kampala, Uganda, when my father, Shirley Bandali Jaffa, worked really hard to make that occasion a success. But since that time, in 60 years, the sacrifices His Highness the Aga Khan has made on behalf of Ismailis and humanity around the world have been tremendous. I want to take this occasion to thank His Highness the Aga Khan. As you know, I have risen in this chamber on many occasions and have spoken about the positive impact His Highness has on my life and the positive impact he has on the lives of men and women and children around the world. This week is a very special week for Ismaili Muslims in Canada. His Highness is gracing us with his physical presence to commemorate his Diamond Jubilee anniversary. For more than three quarters of his life, His Highness has worked tirelessly to make this world a better place and improve the quality of life in less developed regions of the world. His Highness has also invested in Canada, the Global Centre for Pluralism, which represents a unique partnership between the Ismaili Imamat and, the, and Canada. It was inspired by a shared commitment with Canada's leadership to creating a world where human differences are valued and diverse societies thrive. This commitment was shared by Prime Ministers Chrétien, Martin, Harper and Trudeau, all of whom contributed to the creation of this institution. Honorable Senators, this is a time of great celebration in our community. Later this week, tens of thousands of Ismailis in Calgary and Vancouver will gather to welcome His Highness. We will dance, we will eat biryani and samosas, and we will make memories that we will cherish forever. While this visit is one that Ismailis across the country are anxiously awaiting, I would be remiss not to mention all the work that went into m making this visit possible. First, I would like to thank the Government of Canada for once again welcoming His Highness to Canada. I was so honoured to be part of the Government of Canada's official receiving party and greet His Highness on the tarmac at the Ottawa airport yesterday. I would also like to thank Ismaili volunteers who for weeks have been working day and night ironing out all the details for this visit. This visit would not be possible without their hard work. Honorable Senators, I would like to conclude by sharing an excerpt of an article my good friend and mentor, former Prime Minister Jean Chrétien, published yesterday on His Highness's work. He wrote, and I quote, What makes each of us different does not need to be a source of conflict or envy or suspicion, but instead something to treasure and celebrate. End of quote. Like me, you must just think of these characteristics as the Canadian way, but they are also in short supply in today's world. That makes our mission as a country more important, and it makes the work of His Highness the Aga Khan indispensable. Thank you very much.